Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the weapons deck from Eric Ross. Uh, what is it? Uh, it's a deck of gaff cards. So every single card in here does some really cool uh, magic trick, whether it's marketed or uh, created just for this special edition. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of really cool tricks in here. And if you'd like to see uh, the trailer, here it is. So that was Eric Ross. You might remember Eric Ross did Cookie Bite, he did Uncrush, he did Election. Uh, this deck here, this is self-published um, from Eric, and so it comes from Eric Ross, Eric Ross Productions. These cards are made from bicycle. It does say bicycle across the front, and you are getting uh, a bicycle quality stock. It says bicycle weapons on this side, bicycle weapons on this side, uh, bicycle weapons on the top, <laughs> and then there's some uh, ad copy about Eric Ross and Eric Ross Magic on the back. Uh, with this deck, you're also gonna get a code, a secret code on the back there that is a link to the download. Uh, you get a download with this, so it shows some of the effects, some of the tricks uh, that you can do with these cards. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, the first of which is, what's in the box? Uh, what's in the box? Uh, you're gonna get cards. <laughs> you're gonna get a deck of cards. Uh, they're all gaffs, and like I said, you're gonna get the code, the download, uh, for the video. The video is about 37 minutes long, has about nine tricks on it. I'm gonna say nine tricks uh, on it in total. Okay, so is it what I thought? Uh, yeah. I thought it would be a deck of gaffs, and it was. Uh, a lot of the gaffs that you get on this deck are very familiar to you. If you've uh, been around Magic for any amount of time, uh, you're gonna recognize a lot of the names and a lot of the effects. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value? Uh, you're gonna get some live performances for some of the tricks, uh, not all, uh, and then the reveal, the teaching aspect is done from one steady shot. It's a table shot with a, a card mat, and uh, the video doesn't have an intro, it doesn't have an outro. Uh, other than that, uh, it's just straightforward teaching. Eric goes through most of the cards uh, in the deck, and I think the rest that he doesn't go through, uh, he's giving you ways to kind of figure out uh, where to find those revelations, and more than likely you'll know already, you'll recognize some of these uh, cards in advance, and I'll uh, even go through the cards real quick and kind of give you a, a heads up as to uh, just where you could find some of those. All right, so real quick, I wanted to run through the weapons deck and show you uh, the cards that come with this and just give you an idea of uh, some of the tricks that are possible. Bear in mind that a lot of the cards you're gonna see in duplicate because you get them in both red and blue, okay? So uh, the first set here of both clubs and hearts, uh, this is a trick by Doug Kahn and it's called Pip Trip, okay? And it's a, it's a coin uh, matrix style effect where you move the pips across the face of the card. Um, they teach this, Eric Ross teaches this the exact same way Illusionist teaches this, which is backwards. Um, Doug Kahn teaches this in the way that you would have the broken card uh, showing all four pips in the corner first, and then you move them and restore the card, and then you hand the restored card out. That way the spectator is never holding a gaffed card. And so uh, that's just uh, my two cents. Um, you're also gonna get uh, these two blurry cards, which you could use in a, a pirouette flourish. You're also gonna get the cards that you need for Ultimate Monty, okay? Uh, you're gonna get the cards uh, that are the finale. Uh, this is the Falling Pips card uh, from Presto Printo. This is an effect from Daryl. You're also gonna get these cards, which is for an effect called Royal Switch. Uh, it's very similar to another effect by Daniel Garcia. You're gonna get two uh, four and a half of hearts uh, cards, both in red and blue. 
You're also going to get these two cards, which are very similar to the gaff that you would use in Bowave. You're also going to get some reveal cards. You see there's a card there to reveal, there's a card here to reveal, uh, there's a card on the end of the sword here, card on the end of the sword here. You're also going to get a couple of 52 on one cards. You're also going to get some cards that reveal uh, a card burned with another card. Here's two with a quarter uh, printed onto the card itself. These two cards are for a funny fart joke. These are the cards that you need for an effect called Lit. It's by Dan Haas and Dan White. Uh, you might remember David Blaine did this on his Dive of Death uh, special. Here's a couple of uh, cards that you could roll into cigarettes and use as reveals. You're also going to get the ace cards that you would use in uh, McDonald's Aces. And then lastly, you're going to get this really cool set of double backers that are both uh, double backers of different types of bicycle cards and then different colors as well. Eric does give credit where credit is due. That's awesome. It's always nice to see um, that happen. Like I said, the deck and video uh, contains about nine marketed tricks that you can do. I think there's about three or four that you could do in addition to the ones that are exclusively on the video. And then of course there's hundreds more because some of the gaps inside of this have multiple uses. Are these well made? Absolutely. This is bicycle stock. You're going to get everything you'd expect from the United States Playing Card Company. So some other standard questions we ask, uh, things like how much practice does it require, or how much setup and reset is there, or how are the angles. I think all of those questions uh, are, are different from trick to trick. So each one of the tricks is going to have a different answer for that. And like I said, a lot of us are familiar with these tricks, a lot of us are familiar with some of these gaps, and so I think uh, most of us will recognize the effects going into it. Can these cards be inspected? Absolutely not. These are gaff cards. We don't want the real world to know that they exist. All right, so what are some positives? Positives are there's some great cards in here, uh, cards that you're probably already using, cards that you can use as duplicates or backups, especially if some of your uh, favorite cards are wearing out. All right, so negatives. Uh, like we always say around here, there's negatives to every magic trick. These are just the negatives I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Uh, just for me, the, the video is a little short. Uh, could have put more uh, tips on there, certainly more ideas. The deck certainly has so much more possible uses, and so that might have been uh, just whether Eric had permission from the original creators to do that. Uh, I don't know, but uh, I would have liked the video just to have been a little longer. All right, so is it worth your money? Uh, this deck costs about $30, which is right in the pocket for how much a deck of gaff cards costs. So I would say yes. So it's totally worth your money, especially since you're getting the DVD teaching as well. Uh, who would like this? People who do card tricks, people who do card magic, especially people who love and collect gaff cards like I do. Uh, people who do street magic, walk around, uh, I think would certainly like the weapons deck from Eric Ross. All right, so that is my review for the weapons deck from Eric Ross. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at one of your favorite Murphy's Magic suppliers. <laughs>